Hello, welcome back to the PLSQL tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, let's try to see what is this uh, issue. Uh, what we have, we have a, a table called country, and as you see, this uh, this country table has uh, two columns. One is ID, another is name. ID is not null as a number, and then name is not null and we have two. Okay, so let's try to write a PLSQL block. In that PLSQL block, what we are going to do, we are going to insert some values to this country so the first statement what i did i insert a value called one and india second statement i do two and china and the third statement what i did i insert id as three but value as null so so basically what we have we are saying that there is a not null constraint on this table country right i cannot insert a null value to name so whenever I'm going to insert null, it is going to give me an error. Okay. So essentially, this piece of code is going to exit abruptly because of error at line number five. Okay. And what is the error? You know, if 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 you run yourself this thing on the PLSQL, you're supposed to get some kind of error like this. Okay. So where this is the error code 1400 and it will say that it cannot insert null into scott dot whatever this thing okay so now how do i so basically instead of exiting this thing abruptly is there any way i can handle this thing more gracefully okay okay so as you learned before so we need to write an exception handler okay so we have done so far there are implicit exception uh, which is predefined that means there are some common error that oracle has already defined an exception for that whenever those things occur we are going to basically go to the exception if we write a proper exception handler then we can go and then handle the exception but in this case we need to figure out are there any predefined exception with a server code 1400 so basically to to do that i need to go to this website which is oracle's plsql server documentation guide and then let me just take this link and okay so this is the summary of predefined plsql exception so these are the like you know what you are seeing here this, this table says you what are the predefined exception that oracle has already given to you can you even go and find out is there any predefined exception for the error code that we are getting here which is 1400 okay so for 1400 is there any predefined exception okay looks like you know i'm going to scan this thing actually i know that there is no there's no such predefined exception for error 1400 okay so if there is no such things then probably to solve this problem we need to figure out another way okay so the solution is that if there is no predefined exception then it's a, it's a time to write one okay to write one okay so here is the procedure how you will write an exception so first you declare okay so declare means you name the exception the way that you have declared a number variable you declare a cursor so you can also declare an exception then what you do you associate associate the exception name with an oracle error code 
so in this case our error code is 1400 okay so basically what i'm going to do if i declare an exception say x as exception then i need to associate x with 1400 that means whenever i'm going to get an server error code 1400 then i'm going to look at x because you know so this is how this happened like you know, whenever you're going to get an error code 1400 then it automatically raise the exception named x why because you have associated it and how do you associate you associate by pragma exception by some by some by some compiler pre directives pragma so what does it mean that pragma is a keyword that signifies that this statement is a compiler directive so which is not processed when plsql block is executed rather it directs the plsql compile to interpret all occurrences of exception name within the block and is associated with this error number so don't worry about this i'm going to show you in a very quick example how i'm going to do that basically like i'm just trying to give you the concept and then i'm going to show you an example that will clear your doubts then after i basically this is declare i associate then what i do i refer that one that refer the exception in my plsql exception handling block okay so basically so this is the problem that we we are seen and then let's go for a solution the solution is so basically like you know as i i'm going to draw i'm going to draw this diagram again so i'm going to declare then i'm going to associate then i'm going to refer so this is how it's going to happen so here i declare an exception my exception name is called my underscore except okay then here is this thing called so this is a declaration so basically this is equivalent to this then by using the compiler directive called pragma what i did i initialize that exception to an error code called 1400 why 1400 not 1500 the reason is that we are going to get an oracle server error if we want to run this thing in the sql plus so if you run this insert into this country value 3 null you are going to an error code 1400 that is the reason why i am trying to associate my exception name to error code 1400 okay then this insert statement is running fine it's not a problem this is not a problem when this comes to this problematic insert statement what happens it raises an error 1400 as pragma suggest whenever this 1400 this thing will interpret it okay so that's what i told you before this is a pre directive compiler directive it will interpret it to go and try to look for an exception name my underscore exp okay so that after this line number eight the control is go to line number nine to look at the exception handling block when zero divide this is not going to happen because what we are looking for we are looking for an exception named my underscore except however in line number 12 i see my underscore except so therefore it comes to the control control is going to comes to this block okay so in this block i am going to print this dbms underscore output port line i just say a very nice statement like cannot insert null values and then the, the this thing will exit out so this is how, where we refer okay so this is where we declare this is where we associate this is where we refer okay so what essentially you can do you can write infinite number of exception yourself okay infinite infinite number of exception yourself and you need to understand what error code server will give then you associate once you associate you don't have to raise yourself the server whenever it is going to see an error like this it is going to raise automatically so that is what is happening here so it raises automatically and then the control is comes to here and then 
the program is going to execute so basically we are not going to get an error like this instead we are going to get a very graceful message something like this that we cannot insert in null values and also what you can do here like instead of you know end you can write a commit and then end so in that case what happened like what are these two rows whatever we insert it will be committed okay so that is how a user defined exception helps you so basically this is you know what we are, what we are discussing we are already discussed last class about predefined oracle server errors so that means there are 25 plus which is commonly error that oracle has already defined the exception you don't have to do anything you just have to write the handler but there are more than 1000 error but they don't necessarily define for all this exception for them in that case you can define an exception yourself and then you associate but oracle will automatically raise that exception whenever it's going to see this thing okay so here in this case you define and associate and you refer so here you just only refer okay so in this case you are going to uh, do two more steps okay and then you can write almost in the infinite number of exceptions